a shopping cart with some used tires in it. Barely used. The fence looks great. Need a TV. Uh, neither. Yo, I don't know if you guys can tell, but this house was on fire. <laughs> Kind of nice find here, boys. This is what you want to see when you're walking through your property. Who's gonna please pick that up, dude? Not me. I myself have made millions of dollars, but I ain't gonna lie to you, folks. It all ain't sunshine and rainbows, man. Section eight tenants are animals. Section eight tenants are savages. I'm not going in the needle room. Oh no, fuck no. There's too many obstacles in here. Yeah, here you go, internet. There's needles there. My house, bro, and, and you're not actually paying no, for it. You be coming over so, here. So, so, knock, knock, knock. What's up, man? Welcome to my crib, man. Damn, is that a big-ass bottle of fucking Remy Martin on the counter? What? Y'all got Remy Martin money, but you don't got rent money? Fuck. Oh, man. Good times. Tenant just texted us and told us that, uh... They ordered some DoorDash and the driver ran over their mailbox. I can hear the demons call when they do what they do. And now I feel like taking off, find a place with a view. The pain is never gonna... Right behind this car, young man. Uh, yeah, I guess. Man, there's no, unless you want it in the front yard. Put it right hey, Vince. You guys gotta pick it up, right? Yeah, let me... Hey, Vince. Where do you want to put that? Just behind this car or on the tree lawn? There's no tree line. There is no tree line. Yeah, I would so. just say you leave everything against the house and I'll yeah. just let man guy know. Yeah, let it work. Oh man. Good times. Tenant just texted us and told us that uh they ordered some DoorDash and the driver ran over their mailbox. How about that? You got a new vehicle, huh? You're not driving the Ford Escape that's falling apart no more. It's going to be the door further down on the right hand side down there. The steps that have completely collapsed. Yeah. Man, that's the problem. It's cold. It's a little chilly. Sitting in there for too long. I'm smelling. Uh. Yo, it's mostly poop. It's cool. <laughs> oh, man. <coughs> oh, the toilet. Yeah. <coughs> I almost threw up. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that stove is ours, so the only thing in here that really needs to be taken out is the couch, right? Maybe the bed frame, I guess. I guess. The rest Vince. I get to redo the lock because I didn't know that basement door was open slash there. I didn't know the door at the top of the steps. Uh, neither. This, I'm assuming it's blue. Yo, I don't know if you guys can tell, but this house was on fire. <laughs> Yeah. Careful with your too. Yeah, I see. There's not a lot of floor. Well, that's cool. The biggest thing with like evictions, right? It, it's tenants that don't believe the landlord is actually going to go through court and actually kick them out. Like they have this like weird block in their head where they're like, nah, he said he's going to evict me, but he's just bluffing. He's really not actually going to throw everything I own in the street. And they believe that, right? And that's what leads them to fuck around, right? Got the stuff right there. Imagine how this place looks when it snows. Oh, dude. With everything being open. Fucked. You mean beautiful? <laughs> Winter Wonderland? Did you say beautiful? <laughs> Presumably, 
Yeah, just presumably the next. We didn't need the uh, lockbox code for this one. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of got what she was saying. I don't want to like film her face the whole time, but yeah, I saw you over there. I did. I think get her in it, but is that just water? I think it's a box of water. You want a box <laughs> of water? You want to pull it open for me? So then get your live reaction. It smells bad. It does smell really bad. Ah. Uh, oh, it's a dog bed. It's a dog bed covered in water. Who does that? I don't know. When I when I pinched it open a little bit, I saw the brown and was like, oh no, it is a dog. There's always a couple of nettles. Oh, dude, some needles! <laughs> Not by UPS, by like one of those big white trucks. So how do I... And is that a new house? Because we were moving into a new house, so if we waited till we moved, I mean, it's pretty weird that I can't... They're going to be like, yeah, okay. Oh, he's got it. <laughs> that's it. That's just how it's a full and a twin. A shopping cart with some used tires in it. Barely used. The fence looks great. Need a TV. Yep. Yeah. Yep. 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 Yeah. Well, it's like they purposely move things into the way. So there's that. Nope. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I hear what you said, bro, but we can't give you any more time, right? So I got this notice. This is an eviction notice. I don't know if you've ever seen one of these before. You, you want to take it? This is an eviction. Yeah. So we need to have the, the full 1100 within the next three days, right? This is me serving you this notice. Hey man, you can't be showing up here like this, man. I told the guy I'd get him next next Friday. You can't be showing up my house. I don't know what this dude's doing over here. No, we just doc we document everything just in case you know shit gets weird, bro. But hey, like, man. hey, it's all cool, bro. I'm just, we we like to document everything. That's what we do. We make sure people know what's going on. But like, I understand what you're saying. We still got the paperwork here. It's, I mean, it's, it's something like if James is talking and he needs something to, instead of like showing him, to show some of this stuff. Right, that's kind of where we are. We're just, we could have, probably have to move along with like an eviction process of some, some sort. I don't think so, because unit number one says she does not live there. She just stays there. All her property is in a non-residential area. Because those little, uh, you know, uh, wardrobe or, you know, storage or something cannot be considered a, uh, a residence. A residence, not a living space. Right, right. Damn, is that a big ass bottle of fucking Remy Martin on the counter? What? Y'all got Remy Martin money, but you don't got rent money? Fuck. It's messed up. Oh, of course. No. Well, I guess technically it could be worse. <sighs> Thank you. Yeah. Put it down. That's so, so, someone else will probably do that instead of uh, okay. blue. Okay. Cool. Thanks. And. They can actually keep this portion of it. Thank you. You've been here, but do you know where the basement is? Is it a oh, common man. access? Or I don't think it has it? common access. It's through that middle unit. Or there's a back door. Okay, I'll show you. For the basement? Yeah. Back door. Yep. Wait, the PIN number? Uh, 303. Oh shit, there's a fucking door. There was a door here.
I know she left her ID. I was trying to pick it up. You see under by your left foot there on the inside? Do you see that nice little weed pen they left? Oh, this thing? Yep. Yeah. Which is a cheap internet one. It's a head pen. Not that I would know anything about that. No, that's just that thing I heard about. That's the thing I heard about on the internet. Oh! That's new. And do around here, you can see. Just stick this across the front door so I can tell if somebody opened the door. Here you go, don't take a picture. Pow. Give me key, oh shit, key ain't even stuck down here. It gave me a motherfucking my down here too. Yeah, like they run this motherfucking field. No, no, go on, go on. You could have gone back to Columbus. You don't come here, brother, telling me what to do. Don't even know, don't even start, no, no. I stay to my I don't be cool with nobody, I stay down here. I'm trying to get my house together, we why my life keep going. Trying to see why my wall cracking it, why I'm paying all this money, that bathroom wall about to fall apart. Just cakes and shit. That's all that, yummies. Freaking uh, a dream mattress, man. Dream mattress. Oh. Beautiful. room on the tree lawn to put all that stuff oh look at that they left us some pickled uh, jalapenos where's Spicy. the shrimp they said they were leaving the shrimp that's probably in the fridge probably in the brand new fridge that they somehow got this place 10 out of 10 sad yeah yeah check the barbie maybe the shrimp's on the barbie well, I'll take a gander, I guess. <laughs> what if it's not there? There's some of the other tenants. Can you use a quick clean? Nah, add flavor. I'm surprised there weren't roaches on there. Actually, it smells good. It has that. does smell good. Mmm, hungry. Vinci hungry. What we would call broom clean here at Holden Wise. Um, looks like she definitely came through and cleaned the unit up after she moved out. I mean, obviously, as you can obviously see what's going on here, it's a nightmare. She threw everything everywhere, and there's just horrendous smell coming from somewhere. So we're gonna have to figure out what that is. I don't know if it's like the fridge or what. Basically, a lot of times when someone will get evicted, they will just wreck a unit throw everything, break stuff, so it doesn't get used by anyone else or whatever. Come in here and get a close-up of this, too. So, like, you'll a lot of times find, like, old clothing, obviously, right? But those are, like, moldy socks. Um, I mean, that's a pretty good way to get hepatitis. So you got to glove up before you come into these units because there's a lot of biohazards. Hey! -o.
You know that one's getting on the video. Though somebody was, somebody's been in here living their best no, life, dude. Right Hello. Oh. The hills have eyes too, yeah, bro. If that's not fucking. That's not the right house to have this. Come on, bro. Hot plate, dude. This place is <laughs> best. <laughs> Heading towards the bathroom if you're coming in. There's a lot of sitting in here. Yeah, this is all. Assuming this is all his. It's quite a bit of stuff. Alright, it's on the outside. I mean, if this was a horror movie, bro. We this is the kind of shit you walk in on in a horror movie. <laughs> <laughs> what are you yeah. talking about, dude? How bad the that's exactly. I mean, yeah, this is the kind of shit they want to see. Bro, that's how they built it. Where do these people buy these colors? Like, how do you even get? What do you you just went to Home Depot and was like, let me get the bluest blue you have. I myself have made millions of dollars, but I ain't going to lie to you, folks. It all ain't sunshine and rainbows, man. Section 8 tenants are animals. Section 8 tenants are savages. Section 8 tenants are heathens, man. Piled rose. I got the camera on my dash too, but <laughs> it's just like looking at the back yeah, of the cars. Because like, oh, there's the this. there's the sink. There's a outlet. There's a here's a part of a 220 pod. Yeah, so the so stuff is over was here, like, somewhere over here. I don't know. To me, it looks like the fire started right like, here in that corner. Yeah. Well, one thing is for certain, boys, it was on fire at one point. Alright. I need some privacy, boys. No smoke and no flames. Oh! The toilet seat's melted! No way, dude. Look at that. That's wicked. Got a nice find here, boys. This is what you want to see when you're walking through your property. Who's going to plead? Pick that up, dude, not me. Yeah. <laughs> I almost threw up. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that stove is ours, so the only thing in here that really needs to be taken out is the couch, right? Maybe the bed frame, I guess. I guess. That is all sorts of fucked up, bro. I can say by looking at that box, it's not weed. What do you think this is? I don't know, but it's definitely not weed. 
think it might be a pipe. It's definitely pills. I don't feel like anything's in here. It's just baggy after baggy. <laughs> watch it's this. Just bags watch this be in. nothing. Here's a dime. Oh, dime bag. <laughs> it's a literal dime bag, dude. Don't do this at home, it's not safe. Gotta wear gloves if you're gonna be touching random substances. There's weed remnants. There is? Oh yeah, there was some weed. There is oh. Murgawongles. Could that be the reason? Wait, 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 let's see. More weed remnants. It does kind of smell like the marijuana's now. Nothing? Yeah, this no. guy was just in here blazing at 420 every day. Good for him. 420 and repeat, baby! Here. Did the move. Dirty, just dirty. That right there, that's work. You gotta really fucking hate a wall to beat the shit out of it like that. So like, you know, the properties where we actually screen the tenants and, and place the tenants into these properties, the eviction rate is like a tenth uh, of what you see on tenants that we inherit through one of those two scenarios. And it's because we run a 100% no-nonsense business. We professionally screen everybody. We do not give deviations. We have standards. We stick to them. We never deviate from them. It is a no-deviation, no-nonsense policy, right? So like, you can give us any stop story in the world. If you don't check all the boxes, you don't get the fucking apartment. That's how it works. That's why we don't evict a lot of people. When I come back to this room, I'll show the ceiling and the window. Yeah, I'm aware. I'll leave it as a surprise. This room I really need the light for because you can't see. All sorts of fucks from top to bottom. Yeah. I'll tilt up a little bit. Come check this pad out, it's fucking killer! Alright, let's see what we got going on here. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, that is a nice feature. There's no. Alright, well, so far we're well under. Uh... Wow. Yeah. Right now we are. Let's see. Let's see what the uh, upward horizon has for us. Police department. Rail 703, we're checking the unit. Copy, checking 703. Police department. I understand what you're saying. But you gotta understand something, brother. Like, I'm just trying to work this out with you. This, I get that you're living here, right? But this is not your house, right? This is my house. No, nah, man, I'm gonna be paying, no. man. You guys can't no. be here, man. But you understand. I don't know what the shit is. No, you, you understand this is actually my house, bro. And, and you're not actually paying yeah, for it. You can't be coming up so, here. So, hey, bro. Steal it! Here. Bro, 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 bro. Look, look, look. I'm coming here trying to be cool. Yeah, bro, I'm trying to be cool with you. I'm trying to be cool. Just, this is just. Me trying to work something out with you. If if we gotta come back, it's not gonna be me. It's not gonna be us, bro. It's gonna be the cops, and there's gonna be a whole crew of people, and they're gonna be removing everything you own, bro. Well, that's actually ain't too bad. Typical lesson stuff behind them.
Yes, sir. All right. Let's check out the inside. And see what it looks like. Knock, knock, knock. What's up, man? Welcome to my crib, man. We are knee deep in the crap, both literally and figuratively, when we are in the Section 8 space, okay? Nobody ends up on Section 8 just by happenstance. Nobody ends up on Section 8 by accident, okay? You end up on Section 8 because you have a history of making irresponsible, poor life decisions. That's cool. Get that last, so. So much shit in this fucking shithole house. You know, some of my best tenants are crackheads. Some of my worst tenants are crackheads. I'm not going in the needle room. Oh, no. Fuck no. There's too many obstacles in here. Yeah. Here you go, internet. There's needles there. It's a lot more than I thought. Yeah. Can you guys do a... Good. Um... Yeah. For starters, before I start looking around for pictures, this is pamphlet is for you. And then this is a sheet where you can say that you have received it, print, sign, and date. It's crazy how much better I feel now just being out of there. When other people are out there planning for the future, making responsible choices, your typical Section 8 tenant is not doing that, okay? Think about it. They get their check, they're spending it on freaking lottery tickets, cigarettes, beer, weed, going out, having fun. They're not saving for the future. Pulling out because they're not ready for family planning? Hell no, you don't see a lot of that. That's where you get all this entitled group of people living on food stamps, government cheese, and that Section 8 stuff, okay? Bailiffs just climb through the window. They have to clear the house before myself or the movers can go in. They have to say clear. They just shouted clear, so it's you know, safe for us to go in. The move. Stove, refrigerator. We took over the unit, so I think they can probably go. Yeah, okay. everything's either theirs or the previous owners. Okay, so it goes. Is this theirs also? Yeah, it says free stuff, so. Put it all out. All right. All right. The TV here. It's probably not working though. Yeah. That didn't take that serious. You think? Bailiff department, is anybody home? Are you Anthony? Jeez.
Sorry, this is just is the uh, unbelievable. You've been here, but do you know where the basement is? Is it a uh, common access? Or I don't is think it, it has common access. It's through that middle unit, or there's a back door. Yeah, I'll show you for the basement. Yeah, back door. Yep. The PIN number. Uh, 303. Oh shit! There's a fucking door. Oh, there was a door here. That's how you know it was put together well when it immediately falls apart. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.